Hello and welcome to Indiana Arts Desk. I'm Marcus Jackman. Coming up on this week's show, a concert by a world-class violinist next week at Ball State. But first, Dave Bennett has been playing the guitar since he was 14. Blues, jazz, Latin pop, what have you. And he visited with Indiana Arts Desk this week to talk about his new CD, Out of the Blue. I was listening to some of the tracks yesterday, and I heard uh, a mix of, of what sounded like new and original things. Uh, I right. think Satori. Uh, and and then when I got to track number eight, uh, September, uh, is that Earth, Wind, and Fire? Earth, Wind, and Fire, right. I, I was listening and doing some of the work, and I thought, I know that. Wait a second. <laughs> um, how do you go about choosing what remakes or covers you're going to do if you're going to have some some of your contemporary stuff, some original material? Is it difficult to choose? How do you how do you? It select? is difficult to choose. Some songs that, that I like really well don't... Uh, don't translate well into instrumentals, so um, you just you hear things and you file them away and and uh, try to remember. You know, hey, that would, that might make a good instrumental. And then you pick up your instrument and try it and see if you can keep it interesting for for uh, three, four, five minutes. And uh, and that's basically the process. Um, it starts out with something you really like. And uh, September is a song I've always loved. I like I love everything Earth, Wind, and Fire does. I just think they're fantastic. does it take on an album like this from concept of hey I'd like to put out a, a CD release to to the release to having well, it in hand from concept to yeah. the finished product uh, this one's probably about a year and a half process that we're looking at here uh, some go faster some go take longer but uh, the biggest part of the process for me was pre-production like I was talking about the songs choosing the songs uh, working out arrangements that, that work, you know, for, for a guitarist. Tell me something that, that was added that you hadn't planned or what weren't expecting or was better than you expected on uh, Out of the Blue. Well, for the song Peg on there, mm -hmm. um, the drummer was Dane Clark, who's... Uh, plays with John Mellencamp, and he's a good friend of mine. And so is the bass player, by the way. He plays with Mellencamp. His name's uh, John Gunnell. Was that Steely Dan? It's a Steely Dan song, Donald Fagan's song, actually. And um, Dane did some things on that drum-wise where he just turned the beat backwards and forward that we hadn't talked about, and I just loved it. Uh, he's nuts anyway. He's uncontrollable. He does whatever he wants. He's a drummer. <laughs> that's right. Uh, and I w and that's one of those things where you, we all just went, wow, that's really cool. We're going to keep that, you know, instead of doing another take. Tom Cochran, a friend of mine uh, uh, at a station in Indianapolis, calls the stuff that I do progressive pop. Uh, at which there's no such category. Uh, the only problem with not being able to put a label on on it is where do you put it in the record bin? Hmm. You know what? Wh which label? Well, on the, I say just put it under B for Bennett, and it, it doesn't matter to me. And I don't pay very much attention to that at all. Uh, I hope people enjoy the music, and I and I try to play honestly, and I think that's the most important thing. a uh, CD release party or official launch party Saturday night? Saturday night at Docks, downtown Muncie on Walnut Street. Uh, we're going to take the stage, I think, at 9 o'clock. Dave Bennett, thank you very much. Thank you, Marcus. Appreciate it.